Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome back to Let's School. Well last time we spent quite a lot of money on making sure the school is all lovely and toasty and warm, which is all very good. There are now the two boilers out the back, there they are, generating lots of lovely hot water. And then in pretty much every single room we have a heater to make sure things are all nice and warm. We don't have any heaters out in the corridors right now, so the corridors are all a little bit chilly I would say, but I think pretty much people are mostly in rooms all the time, so yeah they might go in the corridors to move between the rooms, but they don't really hang around in the corridor so I think we should be okay. I mean we did all that and right now it's currently 27.8 degrees C. I mean again we discussed this last time but that's really hot. In the UK that would not require any kind of heating whatsoever. That's absolutely boiling. So okay it's looking very good. The school is nice and toasty and warm which is all very good. It wasn't a very exciting use of our money really. It was very expensive. It wasn't very exciting but I think it was a practical use of our money and it did keep people from getting cold and grumpy. So it was good overall I think. Also last time we we did complete the advanced teaching research just there, which means we could spend a little bit of money. We've got an okay amount of money right now. We could possibly invest a little bit in getting some upgraded classroom bits and bobs which is probably not a bad idea. So we could get some fancy blackboards in or some fancy podiums or whatever, just to make the teaching a little bit better. That could be quite good as well. Now, the only thing about that is Currently right now it's 20 past nine and the kids are in the middle of a lesson. So I think what we'll do is run time on, get through to the break. There we go. They all clear off out. That's all good. What's happening there? What's happening here? Hang on. What's going on just here? There are two people. Um, what have you got? What is that above your head? You're waving something. Oh, you're all kind of celebrating. What have you got? You've got something on your person. Your inventory is empty. Did they bring some snacks in? Did Ernest White, the new cafeteria assistant who got sort of, I don't know, promoted last time, move roles last time, did they bring some lovely snacks over to Kenneth Baker, the humanities teacher? And did they eat them together because their inventories are empty? But they definitely did have something there. Okay, never mind. I don't know. So let's go and see if we can actually do some upgrades, shall we? Let's maybe work on this room first. So could we get a few bits and bobs upgraded in here? I'd quite like to if we could. So go to here and then hang on a minute, hang on. Go to here, go to that, and then we can see what we can actually upgrade. So a stylish blackboard is one and a half thousand monies. Hopefully it's still the same size. No, it's really big. It's really, really big. Okay. That could be a bit of an issue. So, okay, what's the regular one? So they've got a normal blackboard right now. That's plus seven room score. And that one is plus 15. Okay, and it's got a projection screen that makes teaching easier. Oh, that's very fancy pants, la -di -da. Okay, right. So maybe not that right now then, because that's going to be another, what, seven facility score. To get that up to a level four room, that's got to get 205. Uh, that's that's preposterous. That's ridiculous. There's no way we could ever do that, I don't think. Unless we just uh, surrounded the walls with those very fancy kind of poster things. My goodness me. That is, that's a bit of a reach, isn't it? So do we go for that? It's a lot of money for only, what, seven more or eight more, is it? Whatever it is. Eight more sort of facility score points. It's a lot of cash to get that done. Uh, what about the podiums? Okay, hang on. Stylish podium. That is also bigger, but that's okay. That kind of fits just there. Okay, that's fine. So again, that's what? 25 points and the existing one is eight. Okay, that's that's more. That's a little bit better, but they are two and a half thousand monies each. Oh my goodness me. There are big desks. There are big stylish double desks now. Okay. Hang on a minute, so what are the current desks? Just a normal desk, plus one uh, facility score point. For those, that's plus 10, or plus five for the individual ones. Oh my goodness me, right. Okay, I think maybe, maybe we don't do this right now. Maybe we hold fire on that, and possibly at the end of the year, at the end of the term, semester, whatever it is, we then pop into the classrooms and do a few upgrades when we have a little bit more money. Because although we do have 28 and a half grand right now, if we start upgrading desks and podiums and everything else, that's not going to go that far. That might not even get one classroom fully done. And of course, we do need some money left over to pay for, you know, wages and bills and everything. So I think maybe 
We hold fire for now. Yeah, we're not going to change anything at the moment. That might be a little bit risky, possibly. So, okay, get time ticking on. Let's see how we can do. So, yeah, we're what? Coming out to about what, halfway through the, to the middle of the semester, really, aren't we? So we're halfway through day three. So really, yeah, it's the middle of the semester. And 74 out of the 85 students are expected to pass. 75. Another one just got some more knowledge crammed into their head. That's very good. So that's looking pretty good. And really, those classes are okay. It's class one, two. So the new class that's struggling a little bit. They're having a little bit of a tough time of things. Nobody in that class is going to pass. But they do have some more time to go. They do have a little bit more time to go. So hopefully, hopefully we can get that up and get them at least past the sort of, you know, the passing line. I don't want them to like get full marks or anything. I just like them to get over the kind of the passing line. So 31, 32, 33. The average scores are going up. 35. Okay, this is good. This is good. I'm pretty confident that by the end of the end of the semester, by the end of the term, that'll be fine. It just went up loads just then in one lesson. So, okay, let's see what he does in the fourth period. What's that going to do now? So let's just have a quick look. So 37, get in and do some learning quickly. 38, 39, 40. Yeah, that's going to be fine. That's going to be past the 60 point sort of passing grade thing way by the end of the week, possibly even by the end of tomorrow, maybe. So, okay. Right, no concerns there. But yeah, the sort of the class that are struggling the most is that class there, the new class. But we knew that was going to be the case because they do have a 20% hit on everything they do because of where they come from, which seems a little bit harsh, but there we go. Um, okay, right, wonderful. I think what we'll do is, where's all that money come from? Hang on a minute, hang on. There's a giant pile of money. Hang on a second. It's the shop. Look at the shop. The shop is absolutely raking it in. Can we just quit this whole school business, Malarkey, and just own one of these shops? We'd be absolutely quids in. Hang on. How much did that make? Let's go to there. Today's income, 16,404 monies. It made 16,000 monies. The, the little shop is basically paying for the wages and everything else. How much did that make? Um, yesterday, 10,000. So that made 10,000. And that made 16,000. So but the, the two things here between them made about 26,000 monies. That is a little bit ridiculous, isn't it? That is absolutely ludicrous. That's so much. That's so much stuff. Okay, that's really good. All right, the shop is doing very well. Is there anything we can do to make the shop even better? At the moment, product price 115%. If we could somehow elevate that up, that means we get even more money out of the shop, which would mean more money in the long run. Okay, what can we do to make the shop even fancier than it is right now? We could possibly get some more aesthetic score in there. It's only got, what, 43? So if we could get that up to 90, that would be a few more facility score points. That would get us closer to 150. So it might be worth looking at that. So hang on a minute. Hang on. Let's go to, yeah, decor. What can we put in there? that's got some lovely, lovely, exciting, boosting things in. I mean, these things here, if we put, say, a humanities picture in, if we put a painting of Charles Darwin in, or a painting of Ludwig van Beethoven, I mean, that's quite good. That's a nice picture of a you know, famous historical person. If we put that into here, is that going to help? What do we need? We need to get up to 90. So we need about another... It's about another 50 points. And that gives us... 50 points. Okay, okay, we're going to adorn the shop with a picture of Beethoven. Okay, there we go. And that makes this room better, apparently, all of a sudden. So now it's stylish, apparently, according to that. Beethoven has now made that room stylish, which is good. We still do need, though, another, what's that, 28? Is that right? Maths with Penge. Yeah, 28 points. 28 facility score points to get that increase to the next level. The only thing is, hang on. Where's that? The promotional poster is another eight. We can just chuck that in. That's absolutely fine. That can just go wherever. So that's eight points. So it's probably worth doing that. Just tuck that into the corner. And now we need another 20. Okay, what can we do that will give us 20 lovely facility score points? Or, oh no, the aesthetics thing's way off. No, we can't do anything with that. Okay, so we can't do that. Um, what about any sort of special room things. 
can we fit something in here that might give an awful lot of other points? I mean, yeah, the small beverage fridge, plus 30 points. Snack display shelf, that's plus 30. That's plus 10. That's plus 10. That's 10. And that's five. Okay. Could we, could we put another one of these in? Could we somehow rearrange that room to fit in another snack display shelf? And that's going to give us 10 snack points, but also 30 room points, which means that goes up to a level three room, which would be completely brilliant. Hang on. Is there any way that we can make that happen? How can we rejig things to make that fit exactly? Right. Pick that up. That can go right there. And then that possibly pick that up and we'll put that there. And that means we can get something else across. If I hang on, we can just put it there. It's only a little thing like that, isn't it? Hang on a second. Rotatey rotate. I think this will do it. So is the room going to upgrade itself as well? Um, it's maxed out at facility score level three, which is good. The room didn't change like the classrooms do, which is a bit of a shame. I thought maybe it might sort of update itself to look a little bit different, but never mind. But um, yeah, now product price 130%. Okay. So we've spent a little bit of money to get that done, but from now on, that's going to be earning a gigantic pile of cash. That is very, very good indeed. Okay, that's wonderful. That's really exciting. I mean, yeah, do we now get rid of the bug net and replace that with something a little bit more profitable? Did we look at this last time? I can't quite recall. Um, that does provide entertainment, but we've got the Rubik's Cube providing entertainment. So we've got that. And then we've got, that is going to provide, yeah, mild craving for snacks. So what else could we do? What else could we provide? Uh, I mean, that thing there, that's a mild craving for snacks as well. That's 40 money. So it's a little bit more than the bug net, which is good. And we could possibly get that in. Oh, they've got these magazines here as well. But they're very specific to certain groups. So, for example, all the, uh, the bulk of the students aren't going to go and buy a fashion magazine because they're not that bothered. Orange juice, that's just a drink thing. I think let's maybe switch it round to our sweet ring candy. Oh, we've already got that. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, no, that was a thing we already had. Okay, don't switch it round to have that. Um, do you know what? Do you know what? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Bug net. Bug net all the way. There we go. We're just going to move things round a little bit on the shelves, but there we go. So, hopefully, that can continue to make a gigantic pile of money already back over 50 and a half grand. That is brilliant. Let's make sure this room is also doing well. Are we serving the right things? Yeah, we've got our salmon sushi rolls in now, which is good because we've got that new sort of fancy kitchen thing over there. Got the giant kitchen in at the end, which took ages to get in last time, but there it is looking very good. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. I think with the money that we have right now, is it worth doing a little bit of sort of replacement of the old wooden floor with the proper brick floor because I don't think there's that much left for us to do. There's a little bit of a hang on. We can just draw it on like that, can't we? And it just does the right bits. It just does the bits that need to be done. So if we do all that, that leaves us with 41 grand and then just kind of zone it out all the way over there down to 32 grand. But if we do that, we get rid of all of the sort of old wooden, slightly flammable, earthquake prone flooring, and then it changes it into brick. Yeah, let's do that then. Again, huge chunk of money, but yeah, by the end of the day, we might have made that back from the shop and the cafeteria, which is absolutely wonderful. So, okay, get time ticking on. Job applications have come in. That's absolutely fine. Yeah, we do maybe need to think about getting the corridors heated. I just don't know how to do it right now. But never mind, never mind. That's fine. We'll think about that at some other point. Um, everyone's coming out here. People are coming out here to look at the boilers. They're also walking through the fence. I mean, I put the fence there for sort of, you know, purposes of a fence to stop you walking through it. But okay, bit weird. Somebody's built a snowman there. We're going to get rid of that snowman. Yay for some free money. Sorry whoever built the snowman. But there we go. Also, hang on. Hang on. Did somebody just fall in the well? I'm fairly certain somebody just fell in the well. I'm fairly certain somebody just tumbled into the well. There was somebody over there spinning around, weren't there? Did I just make that up? I'm going to have to go back and look at that on the video I did, but I am fairly certain somebody fell into the well. It says take care not to fall into it. I think somebody fell in. 
there was somebody doing something here, spinning around in a circle. Unless I just, unless my eyes are playing tricks on me, I don't know. Okay, right, we might have to check that in the edit. We're going to have a little look, I'm not quite sure. But there we go, so something weird could have happened. Or maybe, yeah, my eyes are playing tricks on me. And I did just think as well, over here, with the money that we've got absolutely piling in. Oh, and a bit more is going to come in as well. Got more contribution points. Absolutely, we'll take that. We're not quite up to a, uh, whatever it is, a top district school, but we're not far off. We are not far off at all. If we could either get five more people in through the doors, which I don't think is going to happen anytime soon, or if we could get some more contribution points, that would sort that out. But Jay, we're in no rush to do that. That's okay. Um, yeah, with the big pile of money that we've got that's immediately building back up because our shop and our cafeteria are just effectively printing money for us, we could get this thing sorted. We could get the abandoned tram station fixed up and repaired and turn it back into a proper tram station. And then people can arrive via tram. I think we do it. Here we go. The station has been abandoned for a long time. If you invest in it, which we're going to, students can take the tram to school. Students from further communities could also come to our school. Absolutely. Yes. Investment. 20,000 monies. Invest. And now we have a tram station. And is that it? It's just now. There's a tram. <gasps> there it is. There's our first tram at the tram station. Nobody coming in or getting off or anything, because that's fine. It's all sorted right now. In fact, hang on. That, that's better. I was going to say, that's on the opposite side. So look, we have a tram. The tram station is active. There's a little kind of kiosk at the front there, selling some various goodies, some, I don't know, drinks and snacks and things. Got a little kind of phone over there. There's your entry barrier things. You can park your bikes up over there. That's very good. Okay. We've got that done. And already we're back up to about 32 and a half grand. The money is just absolutely tumbling in. It's wonderful to see. Thank you, cafeteria and shop. Look at the queue. <laughs> the shop is just so busy. The shop is ludicrously busy. Hang on, let's have a quick check. What's it currently on? Um, it's coming up to a profit of 10,000 monies. And it's not even got to the end of the day. I think when they get to the end of the day, they come and spend even more money. So, yeah. Okay. Thank you, shop. Good job. Oh, hang on a second. Look at that. 84 out of 84 of our students are now expected to pass their exams. You lot did it. Well done, you lot over in fish class. Good job. Because, yeah, they were struggling at one point. How well are they doing now? They are doing... Oh, my goodness me. Okay. That's quite the transformation. When we checked on them last... That was down here at sort of, I don't know, 45, was it? It was in the yellow. They were sort of approaching the red sort of, you know, pass line there. But they were nowhere near maxing it out. But they've completely smashed that. They've smashed that out of the ballpark and then some. 100 average score out of 100. They're all going to pass. Oh, that's going to be really good. That's wonderful. Okay, and the assembly hall research is done as well. And I was just thinking... What are we going to spend some money on? We could possibly get ourselves a lovely assembly hall set up. That would not be a bad idea. Okay, continue research for now. Pause time in the background. What do we get now? So we could go and get corporate culture, but that doesn't seem overly exciting. You get some furniture stuff. You get some lovely decor. So a large landscape painting, painting with famous headmaster, all that kind of stuff. Um, education. I suppose we could look at getting the advanced sports stuff in or... Do we look at maybe getting some better cleaning option things happening or maybe having a student guidance office? I think we go for that. That sounds like quite a good thing to have. Let's get one of those in. That could be quite fun. OK, so we'll get working on that. Um, now, yeah, how do we build one of these things? How do we build one of these kind of big assembly hall things? Where is that? Where is that? I imagine we can only have one. Um, assembly hall. Where are you, assembly hall? I would have thought it'd be really obvious. There we go. Yeah, so naught out of one, it's 34,120 monies. Oh, hang on, is that a fixed thing? Oh, it's like a sort of a, a fixed building. You can't sort of zone it out or whatever. It costs that much money. You get one of those, that's what it is. Oh, okay. That's quite intriguing, isn't it? I mean, do we get rid of that? 
do we get rid of our simple lecture podium and then just put the assembly hall out here in the corner? That would make sense, I suppose. We could do that. Um, also, hang on. There was something up here, but that's gone away now. There was something there. Um, oh, hang on. Oh, that's going to be that, isn't it? We're not quite there. We're so close to going up to the next school level. That's very exciting. Um, yeah, let's get rid of that then. So I think demolish that. Okay, so partial cost will be refunded. I mean, that's been there since we started, so I don't know what we're going to get for that. Um, are you sure you want to dismantle the lecture podium? It may prevent speeches from being conducted. Yeah, we'll take that one apart because we're going to build a brand new fancy one. We got nothing back for that at all. Okay, brilliant. Thank you, game. Um, and then assembly hall. I mean, really, that fits pretty perfectly just there, doesn't it? That's very good. Although we might want to turn it round a bit because actually, how do people get in? Where's the in and the out of this? Um, oh, there's doors. Ah, the, oh, there's doors in each corner. Look, there's doors in each corner. So if we put that like that, people can get in from the outside and they can get in from sort of that bit of corridor as well. Okay, I think we put that in. I think we get ourselves a fancy brand new assembly hall. Although, yeah, the podium thing is that way, isn't it? It's going to face in that way. I'm going to turn it round. I think the podium's going to face kind of that way. That's fine. So it's going to point in toward the outside of the school as it is right now. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, okay, it's going to be a bit of a hit to our funds, but we're going to get that back in no time at all. So let's plop that down. Construction zone outside of... But it doesn't build a foundation. Okay, no, let's not put one of those down then. Let's build a load of foundation to accommodate that, shall we? Hang on a second. Good grief. Okay. Um, It was a bit like that, was it? Possibly a bit like that. Maybe a bit more. Uh, we'll do that for now. And now we can't build that thing. That's a bit of a shame. Okay, right. Never mind. Run time on. Get that work done. Uh, after school stuff coming up. Then it's going to be the end of the day. So that should be done by tomorrow but of course now we can't afford to actually build the thing in the first place because we've had to build the foundations for it to go into which is a bit of a nuisance but never mind so get that done and yeah there was the bill 26 and a half grand but we didn't just spend 26 and a half grand so i'm not quite sure what happened there but okay right so get this done Come on, buildy people, get this sorted, get that all finished, and then we can put a fancy assembly hall in. Okay, there we go. That's now all in, but I don't think we have enough cash to actually put the assembly hall in now. I don't think we've got quite enough money. 33,300. It was just a bit more than that, wasn't it? 34,120 money. So we might be able to get there soon enough. When we get to a break, if everybody pours over to the shop, we might be able to get enough money, but we possibly might need to hold off a little bit on that because, of course, we have to keep a bit of money behind to pay wages and all that kind of stuff. So we will see how much money the shop and the cafeteria make. I mean, looking at that over there, the shop is looking like it's going very well indeed. Look at that, 34,000, almost at 35,000. Okay, this is going very well. That's good. Cafeteria looking very busy as well. A few kids in here. There's some eating over there. People buying stuff. And they're tidying up as well. They're putting their sort of trays over there. That's good. Up to 36 grand. 36 and a half. The shop, the shop is just heaving. I'm amazed at the success of the shop. It's so popular. Look at it. It's just, the money's just constantly ticking up. Literally is printing money. This is fantastic. Okay, so now to 38 grand. How much was that thing again? 34. So if we were to build it now, we'd have a little bit of money left over. Maybe still not enough. Oh, it's um, it's shouty contraband lady. It's Miss Contraband. Hello. She's going to get grumpy because we haven't got any contraband. What? You didn't confiscate anything? No, indeed. Again, our kids are being very well behaved. Please stop giving them your know, bad rep and stop thinking of them badly. They're doing a grand job. They're being well behaved. There's none of that kind of nonsense going on anymore. It's all fine. That's a very sad snowman. We're going to sell the sad snowman. There we go. Get rid of that because it was melting anyway, as is that one there. And it's rough. It's a bit of a rough around the edges snowman. So we'll get rid of that as well because it's 80 monies. Now, this is the big question. I don't want to build that thing and then have us completely out of pocket. So run time on a little bit more. I think a yeah, lunch break. Here we go. Let's see what's going to happen over at the lunch break. I mean, everyone's just going to the shop. Everyone's going to the shop, I assume, to pick up snacks. 
and also to say hello to Smiley the Panda, who might possibly be potentially getting in the way of shopping activities, but look at it. There's just... Okay, this is... That's ridiculous. I think we put this in. I think we're going to have more than enough money to get that in and have cash left over as well. I think it's going to be fun. I mean, yeah, we're on about 10 grand now. I think that should be fun. Our fixed cost per day, I think that is, is 10,176 money. So I think we can get that in. I think now we can drop one of these in if we have the right size thing. And we do. Oh my goodness me. I was kind of suspecting that maybe that wasn't going to be quite right. But no, that's exactly spot on. That is precisely the space we need. Okay, here we go. Oh, hang on, hang on. Pause time a second. Hang on. What's going on there? Uh, oh, there's a thing there, but it's gone. Oh, okay, right. We'll put it back in. Hang on a minute. As soon as we pick, we'd like to build an assembly hall. A thing appears up in the corner saying, oh, hang on a minute. You've not got the management for it. What's going on there? Yeah, look, if we get rid of that, that goes away. But then if we say we'd like to build one, it kind of pops back up. Okay, that's a little bit weird game. That's a bit odd, but okay. I think we get that done. Let's put that in right now. Boom. And it kind of builds itself. I don't think we can do too much with this. Um, can we add things? Oh, it's maxed out. It's maxed out. That's what you get. It's just a complete finish sort of thing. You can't change it. You just get what you're given. Okay, that's absolutely fine. I mean, okay, it looks all right. Doesn't look overly exciting, but you know, it looks quite nice, I suppose. It's quite big. It's bigger than the other one. I can't help but notice that the sort of, you know, the exciting magic of a brand new room is being ruined a little bit by a tree sticking through the wall. Can we possibly get rid of you? Can we get rid of you? We got 400 money from that tree. And that tree is also sticking through the wall a bit. So we'll move that as well. Okay, right. That's much better. That room is now ready to go. A fancy assembly hall. Very nice. However, I suspect possibly that has kind of messed things around with our management structure. So now let's maybe look at what we can do with that. So 73 out of 70. Right, so the headmaster office is being a little bit overworked. Facilities has got nine points left. Is there anything we can do to drop that down into facilities for now? Um, I mean, B House Office has got loads. B House Office has a lot of points spare. Look at that. They're doing very well. I mean, yeah, it's good they've got that at the minute. Maybe we don't need another management room for the um, sort of classrooms right now. I think they should be able to... Oh, I suppose, actually, it's because that one hasn't got many students in. If that were to fill it with students, then yeah, that would place more demand on B House Office. Um, okay, so what can we do here? What can we do? How about then, for now, where can that go? We need something. It's only got nine points, which is a little bit irritating. If I had ten points, that would be significantly better, wouldn't it? Um, okay, I think then, let's take the playground away from Headmaster Management and put that into facilities. There we go. So now I think everyone can manage that. Yeah, we need many of these management things. We need one to sort of manage the special rooms, so like the physics, the labs and everything else, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then one to manage kind of food and stuff, one to manage things like the toilets and the infirmary and all that. We need quite a lot of them, I think, to make things run properly smoothly and to have things sort of compartmentalized away and being managed properly. But we'll get to that in time. We'll get to that in time. I think for now, that's that sorted out. Um, I mean, really, we might as well just hurry time on to the end of the day because then it's exams and then we'll see how we do with that. We currently have 145 art points. That's loads more than we had before. And maybe after the exams are done, that might creep up a bit more because you do get a handful of those. So that could possibly creep up. Maybe... It could even overtake the sports contribution points. We did get a few of those given to us, didn't we? Did we get given 50 for free for helping that guy out of his car, was it? That was crashed or whatever it was. I think we did, didn't we? So there we go. Oh, hang on. What was that? That just said nothing is scheduled for this period. Hang on, what? Are you sure? I think stuff should be planned for everybody. Um, oh, they need a humanities classroom. But, uh, oh, okay, right. Ah, that is a bit of an issue. Okay, so they're a bit stuck. They can't do anything because that lot are in the humanities classroom over there. Botherations. Okay, that does make me think that possibly we should get in. Hang on, what's that pointing out there? Oh, it's pointing down through the floor. Um, We should get a computer room in because that can then pick up the slack 
where this thing happens. That can sort of yeah, pick up a site where this fails. So that could be quite a good thing for us to think about next time. That could be quite good. But okay, for now, let's get this sorted. They're all like partying, going, hooray, there's nothing to do. <laughs> Port, is that Miss Lynn? Miss Lynn trying to keep them entertained, going, okay, we're going to play some games. I think they're all going to be fine. They're all going to be fine. Right, there we go. That's it. That's the end of the year in terms of all the learning. So yeah, they've got to go and do their recess and then their break, which I'm not quite sure what the difference is between a recess and a break, but there we go. Um, so yeah, let's get that done, shall we? And ideally, I would like to put that to good use. Oh, hang on. That's got a thing in it. Oh, it's cold. It's cold in there. Hang on a second. We need to put a radiator into here. Um, also, is it lit? Has that got any lighting? Um, yeah. Yeah just from the windows. Oh, okay, so it's just naturally lit. It's not got any kind of actual artificial lighting in. Okay, um, hang on. Let's put in a, um, a thing. Where are we? Temperature. Um, pop a heater in, just on that wall over there, I suppose will do the job. Pop that in. Um, oh, okay. It can't go in that space though. It can't go within the green zone for some reason. Uh, we'll just put it, uh, I don't know, there. That'll do. Uh, that isn't working. Oh, did we have exactly the right amount of of boiler sort of pressure or whatever it was? Boiler points. So we had 20 points from our two boilers and we had 20 heaters. Oh, okay. I mean, that's quite good. That's good that we did. I think maybe we might need another boiler. I think we've got the money for it. We should be okay. So hang on. Get rid of that tree. That tree can go away with you. And then we will move this kind of fence over a bit. Just shuffle that over. That's going to be fine. Not that anybody cares about the fence anyway, because everyone just seems to be you know, walking through it or whatever. So put that like that. And then we are going to need to get another one of these, which is a bit unfortunate. Also, it's doing that tedious thing where it's trying to snap into places where we don't want it to snap. Go. No, 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 no. Like that. There we go. So it's lined up like all the other ones are. Okay, I still think we're going to have enough money left. So pop that in. Okay, so that's that done. We have to sort the floor out because that looks a bit silly. So let's have the kind of you know, industrial looking floor. Just paste that in. Very good. Okie dokie. So a third boiler goes in. Yay for the exciting world of internal hot water plumbing. Woo. Uh, but that means that room can now be heated up. And then we've got nine more heaters that can go in. Now I wonder, hang on, hang on. That corridor there, 13 degrees C right there, not very warm. What if we just put one heater just there? Does that affect this in any way? So if we run time on a tiny bit, does that make any difference at all? Because it is trying its best. It's trying its best. 25 degrees C now. Okay, so one heater fills one space, whatever it's in. So that one heater has heated that entire corridor thing. So over here, it's as hot as it is over there. And all coming from that one heater. Okay, that's fun. I kind of get, I get how that works, game. It doesn't have a kind of an area effect around it. It just heats whatever it's actually connected up to. So, okay, the corridors are now all lovely and toasty, which is wonderful. However, is up here toasty? I think it is. I think it spreads up here as well because it's all connected with the same thing. It's part of the sort of same corridor system. There's just a stairwell. Okay, that's that's brilliant. Okay, happy with that. That's very good, very splendid. Uh, right, let's get through to the exam, shall we? Because they're not too far away. We've got the break, then we've got the after school bit, and then we're going to have some exams. And then I would like to get through the whole thing. And then I think next time we're going to see this here. We're going to see our kind of fancy new thing in use over here, but I don't think we're going to see it right now. So, okay, exam time. What's going to happen? Let's wait and see. People thinking about stuff and doing exam things. I wonder how they did. Wonder no more. How are we going to do? We got full marks and everything. Absolutely sensational. 640 in our exam scores. Everybody passed with full marks. That is completely amazing. Dancing Wattle Institute of Art. Look at that. That's where they want to go. And they passed. They're not going there quite yet. They've got some more time with us. But that's really good. Student list. Everybody passed. Again, Richard Allen 
gets plus 12. Somebody else got plus 12 last time, and I'm not quite sure why, but there we go. Everyone else gets plus 4. Very good. Oh, hang on. Have they all got plus 12? Oh! Is it because... Are they in their third year, possibly? So they've already done some other exams? I'm not quite sure. But okay, whatever the case, they've got some very good things going on. And we are now fourth. We're now fourth. We've toppled West North Charter School. We've knocked them out of uh, out of whatever position they were in. Fear, you know, fourth, I assume. I mean, yeah, we've done quite well. 640. There's a bit of a respectable kind of gap there between us and them. That's pretty good. Happy with that. And then result-wise... It's an A, of course it is. 100% completion rate. We get 60 grand. That is a lot of money. Um, we get some science points, art points. We do, for some reason, get 58 sport points. I'm not quite sure why, but okay. So we'll do that. Um, our grades got better with just a little hard work. It's all thanks to the school. Now everyone's singing its praises. Okay, wealthy suburbs people, very happy with us. Ground shear very happy with us. Right, that's really good. Okay, so confirm that. Um, okay, the results show that everyone has been putting in some serious effort, especially you, Headmaster. Keep it going. I will try my best. I noticed there there's a pet. Hang on a minute. Pause time a second. There was a pet. Oh no. Did we miss the... Oh no, there it is. There it is. Phew. The animal's over here. Right, hang on a minute. Hang on. I suspect it's another cat. Absolutely will keep it. Daisy. Um, um, I don't know. Let's call it, because it's just gone to spring, let's call it spring. That's quite good. I mean, yeah, daisies do appear in spring, of course, but, you know, it's spring. That's when we found the cat. That makes sense. Okay, another animal. And very quickly, we are just going to go and very quickly demolish some snowmen because it's spring and I imagine they haven't got long for the world anyway because you know, they're going to melt and such. So if we get rid of them now, we can get some money. No, hang on a minute. Yeah, that. Get rid of that, please. Get rid of the snowman, not the entire playground. That would have been quite bad. I'm glad I read that and checked. Oh, hang on. There's the saddest of all the snowmen there. Hang on. Get rid of you. You can clear off. We got 80 money for that puddle. It's a bit daft, isn't it? Um, I don't think there are any around there. And I don't think there are any around the back. Okay, right, there we go. So that's pretty good. And let's just read these nice and quick. Your student numbers are really growing. As expected of the headmaster, I had high hopes for. It looks like I have to work harder. I like you. I like you, headmaster Woodrow. You seem quite sort of reasonable and level-headed. That's fine. Yeah, all the best to you as well. The students of ground shear are so talented. I'm a little jealous. However, I believe my students can showcase their full potential. May we both improve. Yeah, absolutely. May we both improve. Now, we do have a few bits and bobs to do. We, of course, have to get another classroom in so we can accommodate more of the sort of grade one arty students in. So we need to get another classroom in. We have got a wonderful pile of money to work with, though. 65,000 monies is very welcome indeed. Income is looking pretty good as well. That's pouring in. So it would be good. I think next time, get another classroom. That's good to so set that up. Then we can have more year ones in, more students. At some point, it is going to sort of, uh, things are going to topple over in terms of our either toilet services or food services or something like that. So we are going to have to possibly try to sort that out. We are going to have to put in some more toilets or whatever. But, you know, it's okay at the minute. We're all fine right now. But then, yeah, we'll get into the classroom in, get some more first year students in who are doing the art stuff. Obviously, get the ones in from Groundshire and Mudford to go into that classroom there, like we have been doing for ages. That's all fine. Oh, hang on. We're not going to do this now. Oh, oh, this is exciting. OK, we can do this next time. We're going to not do it right now. We can really treat ourselves next time. So I think we can do that. We can get two lots of these things. I really want to click that, but I'm not going to. I'm going to resist. So, yeah, we've got two lots of these to cash in. That's a lot of points and a huge pile of money. We'll then get that reward and then maybe we could build ourselves a wonder. We could build ourselves an exciting, fancy wonder. That would be very good. Okay, right. So plenty to do next time. And of course, we get to do our first speech over here in the fancy, proper sort of assembly hall type thing. 
And we'll see what happens with that as well, because there's going to be new options and things. There's going to be new sort of talky options, so that could be quite good too. One of the cats sat on one of the speakers. You might want to move off that before we start speaking. But, uh, but yeah, plenty to do next time when we come back. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Let's School. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. For as we all know, with cake comes spiritual enlightenment and also happiness. That smell is totally not coming from any dark elder gods Nope, not even a little bit. Okay, so a little picture of us on the wall, just to remind everybody who's in charge around here. Oh, and this person here is saying, Penge, you're my friend. <gasps> Tom, you're my friend too. Nobody likes a soggy bottom.